Well, we just gotta pick a spot now. We're so glad we found somewhere in Indianapolis to camp near downtown at the state fairgrounds. They have camping all year round for $35 a night and it was really, really nice sights. And then we had all the entertainment of all these animals that live there at the fairgrounds. They do school tours during the week. So there's pigs, that's Oscar and Oliver, and horses that they do harness racing at the track, which was amazing. There's hundreds of, of horses that are kept there at the track that we could visit each day. They have the Indiana State Fair every August, so all the facilities are there. All the buildings, you can wander the grounds. It's a great place to walk the dogs. There's a small go-kart track for kids. And there was amazing things like a covered bridge and gardens and all sorts of things. So it was a great place to shoot Abel Family Life videos. And Jared shot a lot of guitar videos with great backgrounds. Okay, so got a rental car for a few days. <laughs> it's a Ford Fusion. So one, I've never driven a hybrid. So I couldn't hear that it was started. I'm like, is it on? I can't tell it's not. But anyway, Alex is having fun back there, aren't you, Alex? Uh -huh because she likes checking out new cars. So this should be interesting, driving this thing all the way to Pennsylvania. The girl, just the girls and I. And so it'll be like 1,300 miles putting on this thing in three days. Okay, Jared and I are headed to Newcastle Motorsports Park. There's a karting race there, which is nearby Indianapolis. So we're here, we're here early this month. Usually we're not here in the beginning of May. So we get to come to this event. It's uh, uh, in memory of Dan Weldon, who was an IndyCar racer who was killed in a race in 2011. A lot of the current drivers come out and... What's that? Pro-Am. So they have a bunch of teams with three amateur drivers and one professional IndyCar driver on the team who runs the last team. winner was Colton Herta, who is a rookie this year, he's only 19 years old. We have to get back to the RV and back to Pepper and Carmel, and then we should check in and see what Diane and the girls are doing. Last time I heard from them, they were only they were about halfway back to Coopersburg. As you know, we drove 2,000 miles in six days, seven days to get from Southern California to Indianapolis. So we got to Indianapolis, we were spending a whole month but then I had an uncle back in Pennsylvania who got really sick and is in the hospital. So the girls and I made like an emergency road trip, rented a car. Mommy, mommy wishes I could drive, but I can't because it's a rental car. It's a rental car, so that was the one thing that was bad because I had to do all the driving and it was like 1,300 miles, you know, the two different days. But we had a lot of fun and it was like slumber party with yeah. my cousin and at my aunt's house and we had lots of good food and we went to visit my uncle and I think made him happy. So now we're headed back to the boys. They seem to have survived okay on their own. <laughs> we are not sure until we get there. And as a bonus, we finally got to meet our newest little niece who was born in March. So she was three months old. That's one of the things with traveling full time is sometimes you big, miss out on those big life events. So it was great to get home and meet her. Okay, so you ready? This is how the dogs act when we've been gone for two and a half we days. Too, yeah, because we've never we left them before. Hi, dogs. Hi. 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 Did we leave you? Did they take care of you? Hi. And the reason we head to Indianapolis every May is to attend the Indianapolis 500. Being in Indianapolis a little early for Brian's doctor's appointments this month, we're able to go to the GP of Indianapolis, which is the road race. So that was a lot of fun to be able to fit that in. And next up, the Indy 500.